Hey everybody, I'm Robert, and I've got something for you guys today that is a little bit different. Um, and it's also not going to be as comprehensive as it could be because if I were to go into some full comprehensive video uh, on this subject, it would probably take about three days because there's just that many types of tires. In front of me, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different tires, okay? These are seven types of tires that we actually use uh, here at Apex. So as you can see, they're not new tires because we're not a new tire dealer. We're actually the opposite. We use tires. Um, two of them are this tire and that tire. They are new, and that's just because we grabbed them off uh, the shelf before we put them on a car. But the rest of them we've actually used and run through, and uh, we have a pretty good idea of how each of these works. And I'm going to talk to you about my use for each tire and how I see each tire uh, working as a whole, okay? So we have the Michelin Cup 2R which you guys saw that we did a video on recently uh, with Tim and I and the GT2 RS uh, about that tire. Then we have a Dunlop Derezza, which is a, a very good tire as well. Pirelli Trofeo R, a Nankang AR1, a Michelin Cup 2, not a Cup 2 R like this, but a normal Cup 2. Then we have a Nankang NS2R, and then we have at the end a Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. So this is a very wide range of tires. And like I said, each tire has its place in our fleet and really a purpose uh, for, for use for somebody using it on the track. So I'm gonna talk you through each of these and we'll go from, we'll start up here. This is almost laid out sort of in a sense of what's the fastest tire going down. Um, there might be some people that say, oh, Cup 2, AR1. Uh, we're, we're, we're splitting hairs at a certain point, but they are two very different tires. So Cup 2R, I don't think a, need, a lot needs to be said about that. I call that a qualifying tire. It's a very, very fast tire, very robust tire um, in the sense that uh, I say robust because you can do very fast laps on it and it doesn't uh, fall apart in any sense. It gets used up quickly, but it's a very safe tire and a very quick tire. The compound on it is very soft. Um, it is a, a two-piece compound. And um, what is the purpose of that? That for us is literally if we want to go out and test and see how fast we can get our GT2 RS around the track, uh, just for our knowledge, what are the limits, testing what's possible for taxi laps, what's our safety zone, uh, how fast do we need to be. At Apex, we probably won't run that tire a whole lot because we do very well with the Cup 2 uh, base tire on the GT2 as well. Um, but yeah, so like I said, it's got a very nice stiff sidewall and that's something that I really personally like in a tire. It gives you really good feedback. Um, and that takes us to the Durezza. The Durezza is also a tire that has a very stiff sidewall. Um, the Durezza here is um, a tire that you can get in smaller sizes. I believe 17s and 18s as well. And we run it a lot on some of the V8s if we want a really fast lap. The Durezza is one of the fastest tires that you can get right now in these sizes. And all of the guys who are out there running really quick uh, laps in E92s and and uh, E36 BMWs are running this tire. Premium tire, very fast. It does have a very stiff sidewall. Um, again, why do I like that? It gives you really good feedback. You know what each corner of the car is doing when you're running this tire. One thing you have to look out for on this tire is your tire pressures. This tire is known very well. If you let the tire pressures go down below two bar and you continue to drive it, it will damage the sidewall. And then when you get to high speed straightaway situations, the sidewall will blow out or it will delaminate and you'll essentially have a puncture on track, which is something you absolutely do not want to have. So that is a concern for me with this tire. So when we're running it, we're always very, uh, I would say, conscientious of the, of the tire pressure and we're constantly looking out to see where that is. But incredibly quick and incredibly fun tire to drive. Then that takes us to the Trofeo from Pirelli. This is a tire that I actually do like quite a bit. I don't really care for how soft the sidewall is though. You get in the heavier cars like the E92 and the sidewall starts to move around and you can actually feel it moving when you're in the turns. You can push your fingers right into it and really see how soft the sidewall of this tire is. But when you get it on a lighter car like the McLarens, the 675 LT, the 720, 600 LT, um, and I can only assume the soon coming uh, 620R that I have, well, they feel fantastic on this tire. It's also what the car is designed on and set up for McLaren. So I do find that to be a very good tire. It's a very fast tire as well um, and a very reliable and safe tire. That's the beauty of it. I also really like the, uh, the uh, 
the Trofeo because it has really good heat management. When I take out the 675 LT, I can actually run this tire lap after lap after lap and the, the temperatures don't go through the roof. I can usually start with a low pressure, set my pressure one time, and then I can go uh, for about, maybe about six laps in a row without any problem. So the Trofeo R is for the guy who wants reliability, maybe has, in my opinion, a little bit lighter car and one that isn't affected so much by the sidewall. You'll see pictures actually uh, when you're loaded up in a turn and the rim is actually pushed all the way to the outside of the tire and, the, and the, the tread is moving underneath the rim going towards the inside of the car. And it looks really weird, but that has to do with that softer sidewall. Then we move down to the Nanking AR1. And this is a tire that's actually quite interesting because you'll notice that at the moment I have it on uh, the M4 behind me, the Pista, the McLaren, uh, actually the, the 600 LT and the 675 LT. I have this on a lot of my cars, including the E92 M3. And when I talk about how great the Duretza is, I then run the Nanking. The, the reason I do that is because one thing that I really like about the Nanking is it turns on immediately. When I go out on a lap, for me, I'm not out going like a lot of guys at the Nürburgring and doing uh, 15 laps in a row where I'm getting my tire pressure set and go, 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 go. That's something that you want to do uh, with the Duretza or the Trofeo. Um, you don't want to constantly be going up and down. These tires take a little bit more time to warm up Whereas the, the, uh, the AR1, I actually have 90% uh, cornering capacity by the time I hit the second turn. So for my driving style, that's something that's really positive. And that's the, the main reason that I run them on the cars is because I'm able to go out, do one lap, do a second lap, come back, hang out with the family, uh, meet the team, do whatever, and then say, oh, I'm gonna go do two more laps and I'm not constantly doing warm up laps on the tire. So that's a lot of fun for me being able to have that flexibility. Another thing that I really like about the AR1 is it takes the stiff sidewall and that feedback that you have in the Duretza. So these both have a very good feedback and, and, and that's something that the AR1 also is really nice. Sometimes in certain cars with a really stiff suspension, you can feel a lot of vibration coming through and that does get a bit annoying, but you also get that feedback in your hands, which is really nice. So next we go down here to the Michelin Cup 2. The Michelin Cup 2 is a, a tire that's been out for a really long time, a very well-known tire. Many manufacturers uh, put their cars out with it, such as Porsche with the GT3 RS, the GT2 RS. Um, and the reason is it's a very robust tire, a very safe tire, and it is quite a fast tire as well. But one thing that I really like about it is how long it lasts. We're getting on our GT2 RS probably around 80 to 85 laps on a set of tires, which is a phenomenal uh, a, a feat, if you would, considering it has 700 horsepower and how fast it is. So this tire right here is very robust. I've never had one failure on this tire, and that's something that really, I can say with how hard we push the cars, is very uh, positive. You will notice, however, that the tire does have a slightly softer sidewall than say these, uh, well, I would say these three right here, the Cup 2R, the Duretza, and the AR1. So it does have a softer sidewall. So sometimes when you're going, you will get a little bouncy feeling or in high load areas, you can feel the tire moving a little bit, but that's just how the tire is designed. I don't feel that it works very well on say an E92 M3, which is a heavier car. Um, so we don't run it on those for that reason. But like I said, in the correct applications, like on the uh, 488 Pista, the GT2, the GT3, this is a wonderful tire and a lot of fun to drive. Next we come down, we have the, uh, we have the NS2R. The NS2R is a tire from Nanking that we run on a lot of our rental cars. It's a semi-slick tire, and it's a, a tire that actually is very fast, but it's very, I would say, reliable in the sense that you can do a lot of laps on it. The tread compound is a, a really good mix between um, a, a very good semi-slick, fast turn-on rate, but longevity. We're able to do on some of the rental cars 140, 150 laps before we're replacing the tire, and that really is a reason that I go for them. For me personally, on one of my cars that I say I'm gonna take out and drive uh, regularly, it's not a, car, a tire that I would run because if it's a car that I'm worried about driving in the rain, I'll probably have two sets of wheels on. If it's a car that I really wanna go fast in, I'm gonna take one of the tires from down here. However, that's a great car for, or a great tire for somebody that says I wanna to drive to the ring, I wanna know that if it rains, I'm going to be okay and I wanna get very good performance, maybe not elite performance, but very good performance out of my tire. 
and go, uh, you know, and have some nice laps and not worry about any tire damages. That's a tire that customers take curbs and hit curbs and nail curbs and smash curbs and, and everything. And, and it takes a beating and it just keeps on going. And that's something that we really like about that tire. So it has a very good place in our rental fleet. And it is one that we run quite often. Finally, on the very end there is the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. The Pilot Sport 4S is a really cool tire. Um, it's a tire that we actually ran a lot on our M3 taxi. And you know the M3 taxi is running about two tons when it's fully loaded with four guys. Um, and that's pretty heavy package. And we get out of that tire uh, 100 laps on the Nordschleife running the M3 taxi fully loaded, 100 laps. It's a fantastic uh, solution. The cool thing about that is that we're taking the tire off at 100 laps, not because it's completely worn out, but just because I feel that at 100 laps, the tire's done its job and I don't want to continue pushing it and pushing it. There's a chance we could get 115 or 120 laps. We've never pushed it that far, but it's a very good tire. And the other thing about it is absolutely phenomenal in the rain. The tire uh, is probably, well, without a doubt, I mean, I don't think there's much competition here, but in the wet, it's the best tire that, um, that we have here lined up. And I think it's actually one of the best tires that I've driven in the rain. Uh, end of story. It's a very good tire. Let's talk street tires, obviously, if we've got a, a full wet slick or rain tire. That would be another story. But in terms of performance tires that we can run on the cars, absolutely phenomenal. We run it on the M3 Taxi. We run it on the uh, GT2 RS. And we run it as our wet tire on just about anything that we want to have a dedicated wet tire for. So it's a lot of fun. It's a good tire. Um, and very robust. The 100 laps that I'm talking about, that's dry laps. In the wet, we're well over 200 laps. We have a separate set of uh, wet tires for that. So this gives you an idea of what we have. Um, I do have them somewhat laid out in what my opinion of speed is for the tires. Cup 2R being the fastest, the Derezza being the second fastest, the Trofeo third, the Nankang fourth, the Cup 2 in uh, fifth, the NS2R in sixth, and then the PS4S in seventh, and that's nothing against the, the last two tires in terms of their speed. That's just starting to see tires that are more uh, possible to run in the wet. And what's actually interesting is as you go down this line, it actually goes, speed also goes in order of what tire would I want to be caught out in the wet in. No, 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 meh. Okay, could live with it. Definitely worked quite well and fantastic. So we have a crossing graph of speed and, and wet safety, which is, I think, to nobody's surprise. Um, each of these tires have a place in, in our use. Each of these tires, uh, I find a, a lot of positive values to, and I would say not too many negatives. I know there's so many other tires out there. there you guys are going to probably start filling the comments with the tires that you want to know about, um, but these are the tires that I'm using, and these are the tires that I know about, and I can tell you how you use them and what their feedback's gonna be. If you guys have any questions about any of these tires, list them down in the comments below because in a short video like this, I couldn't possibly tell you everything I think about a Trofeo or everything I think about a Nankang AR1. So please feel free to ask away and we'll try and either answer in the comments or if your question's good enough, maybe we'll uh, dissect it a little bit further and, and compare two tires uh, to each other and uh, get you a little bit more information. But anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of tech talk about tires and until then, We'll catch you guys later.